everyone and welcome to the All Things ITSN Global Podcast coming to you from SITS in London. I'm Kirsty Miguel and I'm here with Ivan McFarlane. Hello. And our guests are Ian Connolly and Greg Bayless Hall from the BCS. Okay, Steve, Thank you. Hello. Good to see you. All right. So yeah, you're here representing the BCS, which you know, as a chartered institute is sometimes seen as a, a bit of a theoretical approach to life. SITS is well known for representing and, and working for the practitioners. Yeah. So at first sight, there may seem a contradiction in there. How do you reconcile BCS and practitioners? Well, I think from, a practi from the practitioner's point of view, um, w w when it comes to ITSM and stuff like that, you hear a lot about the vendors, you hear a lot about the products and stuff like that, but what you don't hear about is the practitioner side of it, yeah. you know, the people at the thin end, the wedge. Uh, and that's kind of what we, what we do. Yeah. We, we don't do it, we don't go out of our way to, you know, to say we're the practitioners yeah. and stuff like that. But, and we're not here solely to represent them at all. Uh, but I'm just here to sort of learn about what, what is out there and what's going on and stuff like that. But from a practical point of view and from the BCS point of view, we try and be a bit more pragmatic and less on the theory side of it. But, uh, but Ian, you, you've got quite a lot to do with the BCS. Yeah, I mean, we're both members of the Service Management Specialist mm. Group. And the idea behind that is that it tries to take away not just the theoretical elements, but the practical stuff that people can do to advance ITSM. And in fact, you were on a, a discussion board yesterday, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, uh, we did a presentation about how to actually practically do ITSM and, and take that away from the sort of theoretical side yeah. and the, the wearing the. Uh, wearing the, the anorak, so to speak. Yeah, I, I, ITSM yeah. can generally be very theory focused, I mean, yeah. especially when you've got the, the five volumes. Um, yeah. and, and, I, and I think, because it is, I think it's hard not to be, but it is a fairly dry subject. I, I, yeah. I think you need the people, I, I think the people that are actually doing the doing uh, can just bring a bit more life to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah I think you're right. I mean, I, um, I, unquestionably, no one's going to get terribly excited by sitting down and reading their way through five books of of stuff written by strange people. Yeah. No, no, definitely um, not. Uh, and if anyone's ever going to read any book first, I would always suggest starting with the Continual Service Improvement yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Um, and um, and uh, when I say the BCS is the, the theoretical side, I will special kudos to the specialist interest group, the service management one. They've always um, encouraged that practical yeah. attitude. Yeah. But um, it, it's just interesting that yeah. you talk about service management here, and obviously BCS is very IT oriented. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting to see around the, the ground the people, one of the new moves this year is very much service management as escape from the IT foothold. Is it still yeah. relevant from the BCS yeah. perspective? Oh yeah, no, no, definitely. And, and that's definitely something that the service management specialist group yeah. can definitely drive. Yeah. And that's good. Um, because, I mean, we're at the, I mean, the great thing about coming to SITS in general, uh, and especially this year, is that you get to see what's the here and now yeah. Yeah. and what's on the horizon. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really important yeah. why you should come to shows like this as well. Yeah. So yeah. for for us, um, I mean, stuff that's on the horizon. So for instance, you've got oh, you've got something like the new. Uh, I was speaking to Axelos mm. yesterday. It came yeah. off from Axelos, mm. and we were discussing the new practitioner uh, exam that's coming yeah. up, and, and the course for that. And there's also a big focus on people now, mm. which we're absolutely yes. delighted to see. Oh yeah, which yes. is the most important part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you see people who you know there's been a, a major on. Pr uh, processes, then there's been a move towards tool sets, mm. and now we're finally getting to the number of it, the people which are the most important bit, I think. Yep. And I was talking to somebody yesterday, and they're a soft skills trainer, mm. and they're seeing a massive increase in the amount of yeah. work they're getting mm. as we realise yep. that that's the bit you need to yep. work on. People yeah. that yeah. makes yeah. a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Hooray but, but, for that. You have to get the people. It, it side is. right or nothing's going to work. Well, absolutely, and, and, and that's all driven by customer experience yeah, and stuff like right. that. So yeah. customer experience now just seems to have, have a big area now mm. in, in, in the realm of ITSM. Yeah. And, 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 and thank goodness that's been, yeah. that gap's yeah. been closed. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, we, we've heard the phrase people, process and technology for years, but mm. what we've seen is technology, process and people. Yeah. And yeah. it's nice that we're now yeah. perhaps getting them in the right order. Yes. No, no, definitely. And, and we. We gave a presentation yesterday on the, on the, the different mix of people yep. that you get on a, yeah. on a service desk, and we, we emphasise that it, it really is the people aspect mm. of it that gets gets forgotten. And, and yeah. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's because it's um, it, 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 it's the norm. It's, it's a little bit humdrummy, but then yeah. it's it, it's how you can push that in Excel. Yeah. And I think that's the challenge that's going through lots of industries mm. now, anyway. So it's not just IT that's, that's focusing on the people, yeah. which is good. And then there are crossovers going back to what you were saying yeah. about, you know, we were having a discussion yeah. using ITSM processes and tool sets outside of IT. Yeah. 
So service management is service management yeah. in a wider sense. Yeah. Yes, well, certainly today, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go and see um, a session later on with yeah. a guy called Graham Mitchell. Right. And he's from the uh, Scottish government. Right. And he's implemented self-service, which is fabulous. Yeah. But also what he's going to be discussing is how they pushed ITSM processes yeah. Yeah. outside of it's, IT. And that's yeah. certainly something I'm interested in with our facilities and our financial accounts department. Well, that's right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we shouldn't keep the, we, we've developed some pretty good processes mm. over the year, mm. yeah. years and they do, they translate perfectly to mm. other parts of the business. Yeah. I mean, and what service doesn't involve IT? to some extent anyway. No, absolutely. So yeah. then every service as far as I can see is an IT service. Mm, mm. So it, it, it just is. seems natural that you'd use the processes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Even doing something simple like going mm. to a restaurant or yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's still an know. IT service. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I spoke about a story yesterday in our, in our presentation mm. where I, I went for this really, it was a, it was a beautiful meal. It was a fantastic yeah. meal in, in London. My, my father bought it yeah. for me for, for Christmas. Mm. And I phoned up and the guy I spoke to he didn't speak an absolute word of English. Right. However, what compounded that problem even further was the fact that he was trying to convey to me that yeah. he didn't know what the password mm. was to, uh, to, to the applications to do the reservation. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. And that was my, that was my first experience. Yeah. So like I say, the mill was fantastic and yeah. everything like that. But he was, in, you know, in essence, like a service desk. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, it, and I mean, the, the, the thing about the service desk is it's your one chance to get it yeah. right. Yeah. If yeah. you get it yeah. wrong, it's a long road back again. Yeah. And, yeah. And it's, I mean, it's, it's yeah. absolutely, I mean, there's a cliche, the moment of truth. Yeah. And yeah. we said that, that's, because Greg, you, you know, you were waiting a week to find out whether you actually had this mythical table yeah. that you yeah. could turn up. Mm -hmm. it, it is, it's like, well, you know, booking a table should be a pretty simple process. Yeah. You know, it's that's one right. of the simplest things out there and it should be an enjoyable thing. Yeah. But, you know, there was that, mm, will I have one there? And, you know, I can't think of anything more embarrassing than walking yeah. into a top London restaurant and then saying, it. oh, your, your name's not here. Or, the, you know, it's like sometimes when you book yeah. into a hotel or something mm -hmm. like that and they say, oh, no, did yeah, you book in with any other name? Yeah. And yeah. you're sort of like, oh, oh no, you lost good. me. Yeah. Yeah. How, how many names do you yeah. think I've got? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Where am I sleeping yeah. tonight? Mr. Yeah. Mr. Smith. Yeah. Or something like that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and I mean, that level of service, it's, it's interesting. We, we, we talk about IT, um, yeah. and that sometimes got in the way of service management. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're talking now about restaurants and other things. We talk about airlines. Yeah. It's interesting, the technology in an airline mm. is now the last thing we judge it by. Yes. Mm. We expect right. there to be a good pilot, and we expect the plane to work. Yeah. What we really care about is what's the food like, what yeah. films are yeah. on, and yeah. those things. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of IT is getting to that stage where the technology is now yeah. a given, yeah. and we're yeah. worried about the people. But again. do you think that comes from the drive of the fact that, I don't know, you've got like the millennials uh, yeah. generation that are coming up, so they're all about 16, yeah. 17 at the moment, and technology is the norm for them. Yes. You know, I mean, we all remember, you know, dialing up we have 56k modems, yeah. and now it's the norm. Oh, that fast? And, and uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you if you go and get your car serviced, and I've got a relatively modern car, I have no idea what sort of engine is in it. It just works. It drives. Yeah. And then when I go to the garage, actually, the last thing I'm worried about is the car because there's coffee, there's internet, there's yeah, magazines. Yeah. Yeah. They treat you nicely. Yeah. They and give they you discounts. Are they going to give you a caravan, two minute wash before yeah. they give it back to you? Absolutely. Yeah. And they're actually really servicing the customer. They are, they are. They're not yeah. actually attending to the vehicle, although they are, of course. Yeah, exactly right. It's, it's that whole experience here yeah. about yeah. not what they actually do to your car. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I take my car to a garage. It's probably a little bit more expensive than most of the others in town. Yeah because they ballet it and they, yeah. they wash it. And, and it's it smells nice when I get it back. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it's funny, even something yeah. like um, the fact that it smells nice or you, yeah. you, you know that the engine oil yeah. is being changed, you kind of think, yeah. well, my car actually feels like it's going a little bit quicker now yeah, or yeah. something like that, you know, it's got so better acceleration or something wonderful. like that. And, yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the, the crucial thing. If, if you believe that it's being looked after, you will perceive it as better, yeah. even yeah. if it actually yeah. isn't. And, and there's right. a comfort yeah. feeling yeah. and a reassurance feeling. Yeah. And that's absolute value from that. So And it all goes back to service. And, and it can be, I mean, the restaurant menu, I, I was taken out many years ago to a very classy restaurant in, in the Strand. Yeah. And we were, were greeted and taken upstairs and given up with drinks. Yeah. Mm. And then they took our order and we saw what we wanted. So we then later went down to sit at the table. A different person, the waiter, came out and put the right meals down in front of the right people yeah. Yeah. without asking. Wow. Yes. And I didn't realize until later it was pointed out to me. Yes. But you know, they have their own mechanisms that you need to yeah. worry about by yeah. knowing who ordered what yes. and yeah. that's part of Seamless. On. That was seamless, that yeah. was and that's, yeah. and that's, to be honest, this differentiation of service, and you yeah. said that you'd, yeah. you, know, you went to a slightly more expensive yeah. garage because you got a better service. We need to start driving that into yeah. IT yeah. service yeah. management yeah. where it just works. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, because there are other competitors out there to, to us, yeah. this concept of shadow IT, yeah. 
Well, you can argue that, and I'm sure that yeah. would fill up an entire mm. podcast, but what it is is unmet demand, yeah. which someone can go elsewhere yeah. and, and, yeah. and satiate. So, yeah. and, that, and that's the problem. And the, the thing is, you raise the bar to what the norm is, yeah. and then you expect it, and then yeah, yeah. you have to differentiate yourself. And it is hard. In a, in a, in a world that's commoditized, yeah. Yeah. you have to differentiate yourself. And, and it's the little things like that that you'll remember it for. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, and but I mean, then the fact that you can't go backwards. We mm. we talked um, earlier today about the, um, the the idea that we're going forward and forward, and the expectations yes. are coming forward some more. Yeah. As you say, the, the millennials just presume that you're going to be able to do this on a smartphone. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's the right. end of it. That's well, just what's going to happen. Everything is done on a smartphone yeah. these days. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the irony is, when was the last time you actually phoned up someone yeah. to order something? That's right, you don't. You don't anymore. You just, yeah. you just it's convenience. And, and we're, we're, we're all, we all have busy lives. Yeah. And, you know, we've got so much to condense yeah. into every day that it's just easy. I mean, it's well, yeah. easier at the supermarket too. You go through yeah. the self self checkout. Yeah. 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 You don't, unless you absolutely have to, yeah. you don't go yeah. to a to a man. Yeah, you just you just want to get through it because it's, yeah. it's the slowest yeah. part of the process. Yeah. You just want to yeah. run around the supermarket, yeah. throw all your food yeah. into the basket, and you just want to leave there well, and then. Yeah. It is. I, mean, I, mean, I remember, well, uh, fifty years ago, sixty years ago, when self service was innovative, and my mother went to yeah. Sainsbury's because it was quicker. Now it seems outrageous that yeah. I shouldn't be able to scan the things myself. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, and you, the, the interesting question, of course, is what next? Yeah. I, I, would, I would make a point here that self-service is absolutely fantastic, but it, in the right context. Yeah. Mm. So the last thing you want is if you're using medical equipment and you need to ring up, uh, you yeah. need to use a self-service portal to have a fix applied to a device, yeah. like perhaps a pacemaker. Yeah. You do want to speak to somebody to make sure you've got the level of understanding yeah. and verification. Okay. Definitely. So we, we, we kind of say, that's great, go down the Amazon model, but remember, there is a John Lewis, and that's yeah. doing very well, yes. where they have a website, yes. but they also, you can walk into a yeah. shop and they have very knowledgeable yeah, yeah. people yeah. Yeah. who are high yeah. touch, high care, yeah. yeah. professionals. Forces, forces yeah, doing no, what's right yeah. Yeah. at the right time. And, and that's interesting in itself, the different models for yeah. different situations. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you very much for spending thank some you. time with us today. Thank you, I've really enjoyed yeah. it. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, we'll be. And we'll talk again another day. Thank you, Casey. Thank, thank you, Ivan. Thank you.